Out of the coronavirus pandemic, Kern County Public Health Department starting a new uh, vaccine hotline. The goal is to remind people to protect themselves from the virus. This hotline will allow anyone in the community who has any questions about the vaccines to give them a call and get some answers. Eyewitness News reporter David Kaplan has more on how this new tool works. Tuesday, the Kern County Public Health Department announced a new vaccine hotline available 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. seven days a week, where a public health nurse will answer any vaccine-related questions or even make you an appointment if needed. We just can't be in every location all at one time. So we thought it would be um, a good resource for our community to have a nurse that will answer a phone seven days a week and answer any questions that anybody within our community may have about getting vaccinated. You can call or text the public health nurse on the hotline at 661-677-4177. Kierigan says the most commonly asked question has been, where do I go to find out where I get vaccinated? This just proves that this is a needed resource in our community. We can't have everybody or expect everybody to go online to find out the locations that they can go and get vaccinated vaccinated. So this phone number can help people find a location that's near them and get them vaccinated. She says they also get asked a lot about which vaccine they should take. We try to tell them, you know, about each of the vaccines and they, you know, we leave it up to them to pick the vaccine that they think fits them the best. She says public health can't expect the community to get that information in a one size fits all model. Kerrigan says they have seen appointments drop since the CDC paused the Johnson and Johnson vaccine, even though it has since been reinstated. After their review, they've said that the vaccine is in fact safe and lifted that paw. Their conclusion is that likely we will see more um, of these cases. However, the number of cases would be relatively small for the amount of doses of J&J &J vaccine that would be administered. She says this sheds tremendous light on how well the system works, that they're willing to pause administration of a vaccine in the middle of a pandemic because of six cases. David Kaplan, Eyewitness News. Is there a story you think we should investigate? Call our Eyewitness News tip line at 869-2929.